time for math. Let's get started. We are going to be counting coins first. Did you find all these coins at your house? Do you have one quarter? And one, two, three nickels and one dime and one, two, three pennies? I hope so, because now we're going to count them. I want you to find your quarter first. So your quarter is worth how much? 25 cents, you're right. Okay, so 25. Do you remember what coin we put with a quarter to make it a zero at the end? Because 25 ends with a five. So should we add a dime? A nickel or a penny? What do you think? If you said nickel, you're right. Because when we add five onto there, then you're counting by fives, right? And after 25 comes 30. So there's 30. And then we want to go back to the dimes. How many dimes do we have? You're right, just one. So after 30, and you're counting by tens now, then you have 40. So we have 40. And then do we have any more dimes? I don't have any more dimes. How about if we do the nickels next? So we had 40 cents here. Now we have to count by fives. After 40 is 45, 50, and last we have three pennies. You always count the pennies last. And so we have 50, 51, 52, 53. And when you write 53, what number do you need first? Right, the five. And then you need a three, and then a cent sign is a C with a line through it. Perfect, so it should look just like that. Now, we are ready to count by twos. Remember we were counting by twos yesterday, and that's also called skip counting. Remember if um, you have two things, and they so if they have a partner, then it's an even number, right? And if they don't have a partner, then it's an odd number. So let's count by twos, we're gonna stop at 20. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. One more time. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All of those numbers are even numbers because the square in front of it goes with it, and so then that they both have a partner. So those two have a partner, these two are together, these two are together, together, together. So the ones that are white or green, if you just do those numbers, those numbers are all the odd numbers. And all the red numbers on here are even numbers because they all have a partner, okay? Now we get to play a game today. So it's your lucky day. You want to get out your dominoes. We are going to play dominoes. So I am going to sh put this down here. And I should have went to get my husband and said, you have to play a game with me. But I'll um, just play with, I'll pretend I'm playing with just one other person. So you need all your dominoes out. You want them all upside down. And you want to mix them up a little bit. And everybody who's playing should pick five. So, and if you have more than four people playing, you should probably have less than five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And I have one, two, three, four, five. Now, we don't need these. We're gonna put these way up in the front. And now what we're looking for is a double first. Now, let's see if I have a double. I'm gonna just turn mine up. If you're really playing a game, you should have them like this. <gasps> Look what I have. I have the double six. I get to start because I have the double six. I got really lucky. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the middle. I'm going to turn over these for whoever's playing over here. I'll pretend my husband's playing over here. Okay, so now he needs a six, doesn't he, to play on here because that's all that's there. And I am going to see if I can move this a little bit closer so that you can see a little bit better maybe. Okay, so he has a six and he has a five. So he can put this on here because this one's a double. So then you can put it here, 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 or on this other side. So he has a six with a five. 
Ooh, and I have a five also, so I can play on his because I don't have a six. So I will put my five there. Hmm. So he has lots of choices. So he has a two, he has another two, he has another two. Can he play a five? No, he can't because these two are together. These two are different pieces. So they're not a double. They're just matching. Okay. So he could play any one of those twos or he could play a six. So I think, how about if he plays the six? So we're going to put that over here on the side and it has a two on the end. So now I need to look for a six, a six, a two, or a two. And I don't have any of those, so I have to draw one. So the way we're gonna play it is you just draw one, and if you can play it, great. If you can't play it, it's the next person's turn. Okay, so I'm gonna pick one from in the middle. And do I have a two or a six? Nope. So Mr. Upley's turn. He has lots of things though. He has a two and a zero. He has a two and a three. So how about if he plays his two and a three? We'll put that over there. That is so nice because I have a three also with a five. So I'm gonna play my three with my five and they have to go right together. I can't put it on the side like that because these two are not a double, okay? So I'm putting that right there. Now, he could play a five, he could play a six, a six, or a two. So he has a two, so he's gonna play his two here because that's the place for the two. Now I could play a zero, a six, a six, or a five. And I have zeros and I have fives. Hmm. I think I'm going to play my five. I'll play my five way over here. So I have a five and a four. So he would need a four, a six, a six, or a zero. Does he have any of those? Nope, he has to draw one. Ooh, he got a three with a four. Perfect, now he can go down here. He's gonna go right there. And I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Ooh, I think I am going to play over here. I have a zero with a one. So I'm going to play right there. And then he can play his last one because he has a one or he has a three. He could have played over there too. Either way it would go. So he won. But I have a three also, so then I could come in second. So, Mr. Epley won. I came in second. Have fun playing dominoes with your family. You can play as many games as you want. Have a great time.